one thing I wanted to just touch on here real quick is something that we've been hearing on the sales side in regards to scanning, and that is uh, the, the IR spectrum. So I just want to touch on this just a little bit and just mention that the, the X7 scanner scans at 1550 nanometers, uh, which is within the infrared range, as you can see on this uh, diagram here. Um, we have heard some competitors making this seem like a special feature uh, of their device. So what I wanted to do is just clarify that it is not so much a feature of the X7, it is just simply the way it functions. It is scanning at that 1550 nanometers um, all the time, and that is within that infrared range. What does this really mean? So the fact that the X7 scans within the IR range gives users the ability really to view the reflective values from the return of the beam in different modes. So what you can see here, is on the top left we have kind of a we have a true color mode so this is the scan with the colorized uh, images applied to it and then what you can see in grayscale uh, on the right hand top or top right there and then the intensity colorized view as well and so what does this mean well as you can clearly tell on that shirt on the uh, on the table there this gives us the capability to really view things that may not have been visible to the naked eye or in one particular mode, uh, which is really powerful. As you can see uh, on the grayscale or the colorized, or sorry, the uh, intensity view, um, you can really see on the left-hand side of that shirt is, um, you know, is obviously a liquid or stain pattern of some sort down that shirt. But in the uh, first scan on the top left, it is very hard, if not impossible, actually, to see it on there. So by, by the scanner having this ability to um, view in these different modes, you're able to select the one that's going to give you the best um, you know, visibility of, and, and allow you to see things that you may not have noticed prior. So that's one thing I just wanted to touch on there really quick. A, color of, a couple of other things uh, along the same lines. This is uh, we saw a couple of images of this already. This is a charred building or a burnt out building. And again, this is just a, a, a picture of the device working in this environment. But also on the bottom right, what you can see, this is again the, uh, in, <clears throat> the intensity view. And you can see that it, it allows you to view things that again are maybe hard to see to the naked eye in that top photograph. So allowing this capability to flip between the different views uh, can be really powerful um, in our in our industry, in the forensics industry, whether crash or crime. 